and everyone has an onion in their home. And the onion was the first poultice that I ever did. And I think in your book it's got, it's got the poultices there. And you can use onion cooked or you can use it raw. So we'll begin by looking at the cooked onion and you steam it just like that with all the skin on top because the, the bottom will hold everything in place. And ideally you steam it or you dry bake it. If you boil it, some of the healing properties are going to go into the, into the water. When it comes to natural remedies, onions are a simple, everyday vegetable that is widely used in our diet. But few of us know how powerful this can be. Renowned naturopath and educator Dr. Barbara O'Neill has been advocating holistic and natural treatments for years and has a number of amazing tips on how onions can be used to treat common ailments. These revelations may seem almost too good to be true in a world dominated by pharmaceutical solutions, but Dr. Barbara O'Neill insists that the healing power of nature is often overlooked in modern medicine. So in today's video, we will explore the health benefits of onions as revealed by Dr. Barbara O'Neill. And when it's hot and soft, you cut it in half. So what you're looking at is the rings. And what you can do, which I have since learnt, that you can squeeze that and you can put some of that hot cooked onion juice into a spoon. It'll be boiling. But when it gets onto the cold spoon, it'll come to just the right temperature and then that can be put into an ear that is sore or aching. Earaches can be excruciating and are commonly treated with antibiotics. However, Dr. Barbara O'Neill shares a simple and natural solution that has been used for generations, boiled onion juice. According to her, when you experience a sore or aching ear, all you need to do is boil an onion extract its juice, and place a few drops into the ear. This method works by leveraging the anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial properties of onions. The warm juice helps to soothe the pain and fight any potential infections. And then with the hot cooked onion, you wrap it up a few times. You might use a cloth. This is, these are sheets that started to get a bit thin. I think they make the nicest um, poultice material. You know, the sheets that the 15-year-old boy puts his foot to, perfect, they're, puts it through, <laughs> they're, they're the perfect ones. And then you get it just the right temperature and you can put that on the ear. And then you might cover it with a plastic square. It needs to have a plastic square on it to keep it warm because when it gets cold, you have to remove it. Some people will put a beanie on. Dr. Barbara O'Neill also suggests that you can cook an onion wrap it in a cloth, and place the warm bundle against the affected ear until it cools. This technique allows the ear to benefit from the onion's heat and natural compounds. For chronic earaches, Dr. Barbara O'Neill advises repeating this process daily, allowing the onion's healing properties to work continuously. This natural method can be more effective and sustainable than using antibiotics, which may cause the earache to return once the course of medication is completed. I know when I first did this on my son, the first poultice I ever did, I think James just turned 45, something like that, so this is when he was two, I, I had him breastfeeding and I had the onion against my arm and against his ear so I could gauge the heat of it. And if it's too hot, he'll quickly tell you, isn't that right? And he fell asleep. And when I laid him down, I laid him down on the onion on a towel folded up about four times because I knew that would, his little hot body on that, the onion, that would keep it warm. And he slept for two hours. And when he woke up, he was very happy. And he's never had another earache since. <laughs> Dr. Barbara O'Neill also reports on her personal experiences with using onions during breastfeeding. She explains that when she was breastfeeding her baby, she discovered that holding an onion against her arm helped her son fall asleep more easily. Although this may seem unconventional, the technique worked for her. The theory behind this practice may lie in the calming properties of onion. The warmth and gentle aroma of onion can help calm a fussy baby, promoting relaxation and sleep. Although not a widely known technique, 
It is a testament to Dr. Barbara O'Neill's belief in using natural methods for nutrition and care. A cooked onion can be used for an earache. When it gets cooled, you need to take it off. And often that's enough. But if the earache comes back, what do you do? do you just do it again. One lady I know, she did it for seven days. Now, by about the fourth day, most people are saying, <laughs> most people might then go to the doctor. What will he give you? Antibiotics. antibiotics. And when you stop the antibiotics, guess what? Most likely your rate comes back. One of the key messages Dr. Barbara O'Neill shares is the importance of considering natural remedies before resorting to antibiotics. While antibiotics can be life-saving in certain situations, they are often overprescribed for conditions like earaches and colds, which can sometimes be resolved with natural treatments. Dr. Barbara O'Neill argues that using antibiotics too frequently can lead to antibiotic resistance and other health issues such as recurring infections once the medication is stopped. She advocates for using natural remedies like onions, which can address the root cause of the problem without causing harmful side effects or dependence on pharmaceuticals. So there are the two places you would use a cooked onion. So now we're going to have a look at the raw onion. And it's quite possible that I might start crying, is that right? So when you cut up an onion, the onion juices, they loosen up the, the mucous membranes and that's a clear indication that this raw onion is very good for, for colds. So if you've got a cold, cut up some onions and you'll breathe in the onion fumes. When it comes to colds, Dr. Barbara O'Neill firmly believes in the power of raw onion. She suggests that cutting up onions and simply breathing in their fumes can help clear nasal congestion and ease breathing. Onions contain compounds like sulfur, which have known antiviral and antimicrobial properties. Breathing in onion fumes may help reduce the severity of cold symptoms by fighting off infection at its source. While this method may not appeal to everyone due to the pungent smell of raw onion, it offers a simple, natural way to combat colds without resorting to over-the-counter medications. But what I'm first of all going to show you is what you can do for a sore throat. You can finely slice the onion. So get a few fine slices. So when the grandson or the teenager or the son puts his knee through the sheet, it's a good idea to fold them up into, into squares. This is a good size square. So you make, we're making an onion poultice for the throat now, sore throat. And you just lay those, lay those little onions down like so. And then you pull the cloth over top and bottom and then put that round the neck. And then you might cover that with a scarf or you might cover it with a little bit of plastic and then a scarf and you can leave that on overnight. Your bed partner might complain about your perfume, but it eases a sore throat. Sore throat is another common ailment that Dr. Barbara O'Neill treats with the help of onions. Instead of using throat lozenges or sprays, she recommends a soothing onion compress. To make this compress, cut an onion into thin slices and place the pieces inside a cloth. Tie the top and bottom of the cloth together, creating a pouch, and wrap it around your neck. Leave the onion compress on overnight, and in the morning you should notice a reduction in pain and inflammation in your throat. And now I'm going to show you what you can do for a cough. So we're going to put this on the bottom of the feet. And we get a cloth, and we put the chopped onion on. Depending on the size of the foot, maybe this was for a little two-year-old, and you put the foot, the skin of the foot, straight onto the onion. And then you'll wrap this around the foot. Or what some people will do is put a sock on and just put it down the sock. But then put a plastic bag on that. And you leave it there all night. One of the most remarkable uses of onions is in treating colds and coughs. According to Dr. Barbara O'Neill, 
Raw onions are excellent for clearing congestion and easing breathing during a cold. She recommends chopping up some onions and simply inhaling the fumes. This can help clear up nasal passages, making it easier to breathe. For a persistent cough, Dr. Barbara O'Neill offers a couple of natural remedies. The first involves placing onions on the soles of the feet. By chopping onions and wrapping them in a cloth, you can place this bundle on your feet and leave it overnight. This method, she explains, helps draw out toxins and promotes respiratory health, potentially reducing the severity of a cough. Now I'm going to make an onion cough syrup. So there's lots of things you can do with onion. So I've chopped up an onion and I'm going to put approximately a teaspoon of honey on top of there and then another layer of onion and then another teaspoon of honey and another layer of onion. This is just the right amount. And then you let that sit for 24 hours. After 24 hours, you will have a syrup. Another option for treating a cough is to prepare an onion syrup. To make this, slice an onion and place it in a jar with a teaspoon of honey. Let the mixture sit for 24 hours, and after this time, you'll have a natural syrup that can be used to soothe a cough. The combination of onion and honey provides antimicrobial and soothing effects, making it an ideal remedy for respiratory issues. Dr. Barbara O'Neill's revelations about onions might seem unconventional to some, but they are rooted in the ancient tradition of using natural foods and plants to heal the body. Onions, with their potent anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial properties, offer a simple yet effective way to treat common ailments like earaches, colds, sore throats, and coughs. While modern medicine certainly has its place, Dr. Barbara O'Neill encourages us to remember the power of natural remedies. By incorporating these simple techniques into our health routines, we can take a more holistic approach to wellness, using the resources provided by nature to heal and nourish our bodies. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, and don't forget to subscribe for more health tips and information.